Hi everybody, I'm John Clark with Dungeon Master for Hire, and I'm doing a quick tutorial, just a little demo on how to install the Beyond 20 Chrome extension, which also works for Firefox, uh, into Chrome in order to connect the uh, D&D Beyond character sheets that, that you all will be using into the Roll20 tabletop system. Um, and the reason we do that is because the character sheets in and D&D &D Beyond are just are so much superior and it's so much easier to manage your character uh, in D&D &D Beyond than it would be in Roll20. Um, and especially when it comes to leveling up, handling your equipment, um, and even customizing your character sheet, managing your conditions and hit points, uh, inspiration, et cetera. Um, it's, it's just far easier to use the character sheets in D&D &D Beyond. And also between games, it gives you the ability to, um, you know, pull your character sheet up and it gives me as the dungeon master the ability to manage your characters if I need to. All right, so let's just get started. So you can see I have two Chrome windows up on the right hand side is, is roll 20. Um, I have a little battle about to happen here between Ogre and his cave bear and a few characters. Um, and then on the left hand side over here, I have Tharnar, who is the rogue of the party. Uh, and so I'm just going to show you how to connect these two. I don't have the, the plugin or the uh, extension installed right now, so I'm just going to do that. So the first thing you need to do um, is install the extension. You see here's your a little extensions uh, window for Chrome. It's how it works. It looks like a little puzzle piece. All right, so I need to find it first. So I'm just going to do a search for uh, Beyond 20 Chrome extension. And there it is, Beyond 20. Okay, the page will look like this. And just hit Add to Chrome, Add Extension. And there you go, it's all set. You can read more about it on their web page if you want to. Um, but for now, uh, we're all set. Now if I click on that little puzzle piece in the upper right, you can see that Beyond 20 is now added to the list of extensions with full access. All right, so uh, we're done. Now I'm just gonna do one thing with the settings in Beyond 20, just click on it once and it'll pull up all the settings. And there's lots of different options in here, which are, which are great, but I usually just leave it to default. The only thing I change here is the type of role. I change type of role from normal role to always roll twice. Uh, the reason I do that is because characters and players are often rolling with advantage or disadvantage um, and this just makes it easier than having to roll a second time. Um, okay, so that's done. It's pretty simple now. Um, if I want to say, um, do an initiative roll, which would be the first thing you're gonna do in a combat for Tharnar, um, here's how you do it. So in roll 20, select Tharnar, or select your, your character's token. Then in D&D uh, &D Beyond, um, hover over your initiative bonus, right? You can see a little dice now, pops up, but you don't need to worry about that. You're going to just click right on the, on the initiative. Uh, it gives you a little warning that'll, that'll go away. Um, and you can see two dice now have been rolled. Um, and then over on the right in the chat bar uh, for roll 20, you can see there's, I rolled a six and an eight total. Um, not too hot. So he's not going to go first in this combat. But anyway, let me open the turn order. It also added Tharnar to the turn order. Okay, uh, and I'll just do that again. I'm going to delete Tharnar out of the turn order. Uh, and then I can, I can uh, come over here on the left and click on initiative one more time. And you can see it's rolling. And this time a 20 and an 18. And you can see Tharnar was, was added. Uh, and it took the roll that's on the left. Now, because it's rolling twice, um, you know, as, as the dungeon master to play, you're always looking at the roll that's on the left. Unless I tell you you have advantage or disadvantage. If you have an advantage, you look at both rolls and you take the highest one. If you have disadvantage, you look at both rolls and you take the lowest one. The different circumstances give you advantage or disadvantage. Okay, so now we know that Tharnar, well, he's going last, but we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna look at how he attacks now using using a DD Beyond into a roll 20. All right, so with the extension installed, um, all, you, all I really need to do is um, over here, on his actions. You can see I have dagger, dagger, short bow, short sword, and short sword plus one, um, which he had, he just picked up uh, after uh, the latest encounter. 
So he's got an enchanted short sword and he's gonna run up here and attack um, this ogre. Uh, so all I need to do is click on it. It, it rolls everything, right? So it, it's gonna roll uh, as if with advantage, but I'm taking the number on the left. He doesn't have advantage. He didn't surprise the, the ogre. Um, and it also shows you his damage. So it does eight piercing damage. It also shows you eight sneak attack damage, um, just because um, it, just in case he was able to do sneak attack damage. So in, in this case, he was not, he wasn't hiding before. If he had been hiding if, or, um, or if he had been flanking one of the opponents or flanking with the opponent with one of his, uh, his char other characters, then he would also add the sneak attack damage. Um, but the nice thing is the rolling just happens for you. Um, and, and that's it, it's pretty simple. Um, let's say he wants to tumble out of the way. It's a house rule of mine, allowing some, for some tumbling action. Um, and he wants to run back here uh, without using his uh, cunning action. Um, I can roll an acrobatics check. And so here's your uh, abilities, um, your abilities and skills. And so if I just hover over the bonus number here, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to roll. Uh, whoa, two natural 20s. Um, that is rare. Anyway, so he does a backflip and he gets out of there um, away from the ogre and the ogre can't not make an attack of opportunity. Um, and so that's how you do your ability checks. Um, so let's say we're not in combat and you're also, and I tell you, okay, um, you know, give me a perception roll. All right. And so you can do the same thing. You can come over here to your character sheet um, to where your skills are and you can just click perception, which is down there and he got a four. So he did not see that trap he fell in and he died on a poison spike. Uh, just kidding. All right, so saving throws work the same way. Um, he, fell in the, he fell in a trap. Okay, make a dexterity saving throw to see you, if you can catch yourself or an acrobatics, but I'm just gonna say dexterity saving throw. Let's see if you can uh, not fall in the trap. Okay, and he rolls a 10. No, he definitely falls in the trap and uh, then if you want to see how much damage he does, well, that would be something that I would roll uh, in roll 20. Okay, and you can see, okay, you take 13 points of piercing damage and then I can roll some poison damage. Um, so that's how these things work. You can also roll strength checks, um, wisdom checks, et cetera. So all your different checks and all your different rolls happen now in D&D Beyond and then immediately get sent over to roll 20. So go, go find that Chrome extension, install it, and then you're all set up. Okay, everybody, thank you so much, and you have a great day.